Welcome to this Windows and Computer channel and today we have a controversial topic that I will talk about and it's about Windows cleaning and optimizing software. So, okay, as long as Windows existed probably there were some optimizers and cleaners and one of the most popular we talk about all the time is uh, CCleaner. Uh, now that it was purchased by Avast and the latest version was a little controversial because of its privacy settings. So I will say something that I know some of you out there will not agree with. But I've also said a lot of things that a lot of people don't agree with. And it's fine. We are all entitled for our opinions and personal opinions on things. And it's okay. That's what makes life interesting. So stay away from optimizers, cleaners, registry fixers uh, for two big reasons. The main one, they do nothing. And I really, really seriously do nothing. Um, over years, you know, I've seen a lot of people, the, obviously the most popular one I've seen a lot was CCleaner. Um, you know, there are things, and I've, I've talked about CCleaner in the past, especially for one thing. Um, CCleaner is the only is is, a, is great for one thing. It it helps you remove the Windows 10 uh, core apps that have a no one install button, and that's kind of interesting. So you know, it's not that it's zero useful. It it, it has some things that can be useful. Um, but here I'm calling about you know talking mostly about the software that tries to fix Windows. You know, because there's obviously more to it. For example, CCleaner I believe has a disk defrag uh, things like that still i don't know i don't understand why we would use it because uh windows does a great job at defrag and that you know fragment defrag the hard drive and it does automatically anyways when you don't you know use it uh, but still these pieces of software will of course always pretend that your windows will run better and uh, by removing you know registry entries that were left there and doing all sorts of tweaks and here and there your PC is gonna run fine, it's gonna have less errors, it's gonna have okay let's just say that there's absolutely no proof, absolutely none none. They've never actually put a chart up and say hey we've tested 1000 computers you know 500 running CCleaner and cleaned all the time and 500 not running anything and uh, there's more blue screens on the other one. Nope, not true. There's absolutely no differences it does not run faster even if you go and, you know, let's say you remove 200 registry keys that were left behind. You won't see any difference at all, at all. Um, it's, you know, a very personal thing. And, and people were probably sent to these pieces of software with, you know, the promise of better running computers. And um, honestly, none of them work. Uh, I, I still have people that I've you know that I know that use memory optimizers oh well you know well when I run Windows it uses too much RAM it doesn't use too much RAM it uses the RAM it needs there's no such thing at using too much RAM it's not using too much RAM you don't have enough RAM for what you do it's the other way around you gotta add more RAM memory you don't have enough of 4 gigs well put 8 or 16 You'll see, you'll be okay. But running an optimizer is not okay because you're actually preventing Windows from actually doing a very crucial thing, using the maximum of RAM so it, use, it will run as smoothly as possible. It's time we change the way we think about these things. And, you know, I know a lot of you out there, and we've talked about it in the past, use CCleaner. Um, you know, I've not seen much problems caused by CCleaner, but I've seen some Windows software that clean Windows actually break Windows. That's also another reason why I tend to not like this software, because it, it, you know, you never know. It could happen. It could happen. And um, <clears throat> one last thing that I don't like, these optimizers, cleaners, and whatever. There are too many fake ones out there. Too many that tell you they're doing things and they're not actually doing anything. So, um, you know, my recommendation is very simple. Stay away from cleaners, all of them, including CCleaner. 
Uh, that's pretty much what I have to say. And you might disagree, and it's okay. You know, you might be using CCleaner after I end this video to do something. <laughs> you know, maybe I just reminded you, oh, I haven't cleaned my computer with CCleaner today. But, uh, you know, it's, um, I tell you, they do nothing. They're completely useless. Um, and, and apart from very specific tasks, uh, nope, you're not going to get a better Windows and better working Windows and a faster Windows with these pieces of software. You're just, you know, doing things that in reality have little to none impact within the system. If you enjoyed my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching our videos.